Good morning, Cyber Traders. Happy Friday. My God, another gorgeous, gorgeous day. Low humidity here in New York. How is it in your guys' neck of the woods? Everybody doing pretty well? Oh, I feel like I'm coming in so loud. There we go. Let me just try to lower that. There we go. Nice and warm where you guys all are. Nice in Kansas City, Wayne. All right. Hot in California. Pouring rain in Smoky Mountain, Tennessee for Judy. Look at that. But you know what? Weather's so nice inside, isn't it? Isn't it nice to sit there and trade? You gotta go, you don't gotta drive, you don't have to go like go anywhere and deal with traffic and you know, just do this in your pajamas, you know, just wake up and then, then get dressed, have some coffee with your spouse, and beautiful. I love it. Love it. And you know what's also great? It is Friday. So what does Friday mean? Means we're gonna have a nice long weekend. <laughs> cool first rain, a couple of months. There you go in Arizona, uh, right from Lawrence. Look at that. It's payday, right, Ken? Friday's payday. Actually, payday uh, is usually Tuesdays, so no one blows it all on Friday in the weekend. But uh, but in your payroll, Ken, every day's a payday, right? Ken did great last week. Uh, I mean yesterday, right, Ken? Let's give him a round of applause. Made about over four four thousand. Way to go, Ken. Nice. A lot of guys made a lot of money yesterday. So anyway, let's get right into it. Talk about a couple of stocks. Uh, first of all, we've been watching this AWX this morning. Stock had a good, good push. I thought we were going to have a nice little rally in it. I don't know. It backed off. And uh, one thing I do want to point out about the AWX, it broke lower lows. And you know, and, and once I saw that, I'm like, eh, you know, I'm not a real fan of it so far. So I got out of it. I'll end up probably buying it back if it gets pushing. But um, but she started teeter-tottering when I saw those lower lows. Let me just bring this up the time frame so you guys can see a little bit better. Right there, you could see when it started doing that, I wasn't too much of a fan. So we'll see how she holds up. But you all remember this one, guys. This is a stock that we traded. It went from a dollar to $20. Great, great short squeeze. That was one of the big hits uh, that paid for July. So, um, and by the way, we have one at, we have these uh, at least one or twice a, a week. So if you missed it, thought we were gonna have it again. But let's keep it a close eye on it. That one's gonna make my watch list. But let's talk about some of the other stocks that we did trade yesterday because there were a lot of good winners. Uh, first of all, Roku, um, big, big winner yesterday. Let me fix the time frame here so we can go back and see it. Roku was a huge winner, 52 to 57. Uh, that was one of the great calls. A lot of you guys made a lot of money on that. Yelp, also another big winner. Popped from 44 to 49. And Match. Match had a nice little move, 45 to 49. Now, the bad thing about all three of these stocks, just to let everybody know, this was not your typical level one stock. You know, there's a lot of people that are here that are starting out. And you know, and they and they veer to options because they think they can't afford these stocks. They're starting to reel that they're fast. Listen, if you're a beginner trader, let me just tell you guys, you know, when you'll get it, you'll get it. Believe me, it's not that hard. You know what the hardest thing to do in trading is to trade one share. One stinking little share. And you hear me joke about it all the time. And you guys, if you haven't figured it out what that means, okay. You better sit in the room just a little bit longer what the hell it means to trade one share of stock. You let that sink into your head. One share, okay? And let me just tell you really quick. If you can't trade one share, you won't be like Ben who traded 15,000 shares, you know, um, you know, on the MHLD, you know, and making a killing on a short. That's you know what it's all about. So you got to know how to play the game, guys. By the way, let's give him a round of applause. He made himself 15000 yesterday on that stock right there. Good job, Ben. Actually, would that be a breaking news? <laughs> because that stock crashed. Love the sound effects. <laughs> anyway, pretty good day overall. But um, but that's what trading's all about, and that's what we do. So um, hopefully a lot of you here that have been here and been watching over the course of the day of being in the original uh, trading room, uh, you know, on the internet that I started 25 years ago, you see what it's all about. And it's all about working together like a team and making money. Now, a couple of the things that are making some big moves. Um, obviously, you see the news that came out uh, where uh, 
overstock's taking a little bit of a hit. You can hear that the future uh, forex is taking a big, big hit. The Turkish market down 11 percent on the dollar. You know, it's funny, but days like that is probably the only day you could ever trade forex. I mean, honestly, there's not too many days that I know, and that's another reason people think you got to trade forex. You know, you don't get too crazy. You know, volatility. You know, when it comes to the forex market, but today, if you're a forex trader, you got to be happy. All right. Now, uh, yep, looks like AW, AWX did make its big move, Ken. So um, maybe it's time to jump back in. Let's see if it breaks through this resistance. But we know that AWX is not your level one stock, right? We know this stock is definitely, you know, going to get into two to three, uh, definitely into three category. But as of right now, in the pre-market, it's in the two category. All right, so that one is the top of our list. Okay, a couple of the stocks I want to do point out. TTW is also making the watch list. Uh, you could see what that stock right after the close had a really big gap up. Bad thing about TTD, it's $114. But if you're a level five trader, this is what you're looking for. Screaming, beautiful stock, breaking all-time highs. Stock was a $45 stock. A lot of you guys remember this. Uh, the trade desk, we traded this back a few months back. And sure enough, look at it now. So listen, I, I say this all the time. You want to be a good swing trader? You want to be a good investor, you better damn know how to day trade first because it's what happens over the course of the day which trickles down to a swing trade and an options trade. And TTD was one of them. Another one that's also making um, making some noise this morning is hair. Hair getting crushed. Crushed. Look at that. So, I don't know guys. Um, if you were a day trader, you would have figured that out when it was at three. You didn't want to get out of it. Look where it is today. All right. And then the GEMP, another one, crushed. Let me tell you, what do we know about pharmaceutical stocks, guys? Have, it, uh, have, we, have we traded hair? Yeah, we did trade it hair. It was a robotics company. But uh, go back in your journals, Ken, and check it out. Anyway, what do we know about pharmaceutical stocks? They never come back, you know? And look at this one, crushed. Just totally decimated, and you know what? I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna throw some lemon on your wound. If you didn't learn when it was at seven and it tanked, okay, and you didn't get out when it was back here and trading at the lows, boom! That one went out. That went from five down to three fifty. Thought you were safe. Oh my God! I'm down half my money. Now you're down to a dollar. So uh, you want to play games, guys? You better learn how to day trade first, because that's where it all starts. That's right, Grant. They do not come back. All right? RX loses don't come back. That's right. And you know what? And a lot of you guys have been here for a while. You know this because we've been doing this for a while. Um, which is the uh, H... Uh, what was the other one uh, that we traded that took a big hit? Uh, what was it? The HMLY? Is that what it was? Hold on. What was the other one? HMLY? Was the one that just got got crushed that we just traded uh, three days ago? I was talking about the reverse stock split. Har Harmony, what is it? H M N. Um, that's right, H M N Y. All right, so I want to uh, I want to talk a little bit about this stock really quick because um, this stock right here did a reverse stock split. Okay. And you know, I don't want to bring up someone's name here, but I just want to tell you, I just want to tell you a little story uh, before we go and get ready to trade. But uh, garbage. <laughs> All right. So anyway, let me tell you the fun. Let me tell you the story. Our YouTube video. I did a YouTube video, and it was probably it was the most one of the most successful videos that I've made, and it was about reverse stock splits. And you know, and uh, one of the students. Here, a new student found us on YouTube because of this one stock. And let me tell you what happened. I did it. We, we, if you guys remember and look it up, you look up on our channel and watch it. And, I, and, and even if you're not even, you know, like I said, you got the time. Everybody's going to learn something very valuable. And let me tell you, it's for free. So by you watching this video, you're going to really be shocked. When we talked about HMNY and I said, a, a, a reverse stock split. This was a reverse stock split. And, and I said, guys, when a company does a reverse stock split, that is the worst 
news you could ever get into a stock. The worst news. You better get the hell out of it immediately. Let me just bring up a different chart because this, this, this website um, platform doesn't incorporate it. So the company was trading at eight cents. They, it, it did reverse stock split. It went all the way up to about $15. I don't know what that is, 100 to one stock split, whatever it is. And everyone was panicking because a lot of people owned this stock. And look what it did. It went right back down to six cents. $15 down to six cents. That means the stock is trading like a hundred tenth of a penny. Now, the reason why I'm bringing this up is because the, this new student that joined Cybertrain University says, Fausto, if it wasn't for you, he goes, um, I, I lost $3,000 on this trade because because I didn't know what to do. By the time I watched your video, I finally realized, let me sell it. Um, she got out at she she got out at eleven dollars, eleven dollars she got out at okay, lost three thousand dollars on that trade. If she didn't sell it when she watched my video, guess what? It's down to six, six dollars, six. I'm sorry, six dollars, six cents. That's not a misprint. Let me tell you something. I've been doing this for twenty five years. I have never seen a stock do a reverse stock split that high and drop that low. Not even can, not even dryers did that. Not even dryers did that in less than five days, right? In five days, that has got to be the ultimate worst I've ever seen, okay? Dry, that is, dryers have even compete with that. So anyway, um, she's a new student here at Cybertrain University, so we're going to welcome her aboard. Um, you know, like I said, I don't want to, because I don't want her, anyone to know about her position, but uh, but it was just great to see that I, I you know, I, I did I did a very good cause for someone, and I can imagine a lot of people I've done it for on this one specific stock because it literally would have lost everything on this position, everything. Um, here now, Joanna, as she goes, she wants to say it. Let's let's give her a round of applause for being part of the team, Joanna. I guess you want to say she's here now uh, to run the money back up. Don't worry about it. Just thank God you got out of it because you would have lost everything. You would have lost everything on that position. And they'll put you literally out of business. Out of business. Listen, you got to learn before you, you, you know, before you could earn. And, you know, and no matter how good of a trader you are, you think you are, great traders never stop learning. Anyway, so that was the tip of the day, guys, about the stock splits. And I'm going to actually do a video on it, a recap on HMNY because I can't believe how many hits this, that page, that video got, and um, and we called it that morning. We called it out that morning, and it was great. So anyway, thanks everyone. So listen, um, today is Friday. Don't forget, it's the weekend. A lot of people are going to be going away, enjoying their summer vacations. Um, I'm also going to be going on vacation, but let me tell you, I told my wife, guy, listen, I'm going to still trade in the morning. So you guys enjoy the beach at the beach house. I'm still going to be there, so I'll be in and out on next week. So, uh, but I'll still be in touch. So I'll be around. In the meantime, everyone, enjoy your weekend. Let's make some money today. Don't get too cocky. It is Friday. Surprisingly, we've done very well on Fridays. Um, but if it's not there, it's not there. We got a couple of stocks. Let's see how they work out, and we'll keep a close eye on this AWX. All right, guys, because um, crazy things have happened, and we see this thing go, and uh, you never know, it could happen again. Good luck, everyone. Happy trading.